Good afternoon, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. And I want to share some thoughts with you. I've often said that the human heart and mind can be likened to an 88 key piano. As you sit before a grand piano, you see before you all the keys, all the notes. We have within our mind all the thoughts, we have within our heart all the emotions. So the question is never, what am I generating? What am I causing? What am I finding? It's already there. That's why to be truly enlightened, to be truly integrated, to be truly evolved, we must make friends with all the emotions in our heart, all the thoughts in our head, be they glorious or be they grotesque. Along that thought, this occurred to me, that we all begin as infants, unless of course the Frankenstein monster is watching, and if you are, how you doing? But so all of us began as infants. And you look at an infant, and they can't roll over. If they're on their tummy, they're on their tummy. If they're on their back, they're on their back. And so when we were infants and we looked up, all we saw was the ceiling, until someone peered over and said hi, or, you know, shook their keys or something like that. And so we saw the ceiling, people came, people went, people came and people went. And so for an infant, narcissism, self-centeredness is the natural result of our lack of mobility and our limited perception. But as an infant becomes a toddler and they become ambulatory, they can move their head, they can move their body, they can see that the people who come and go are part of a larger whole, a larger system, and that they too are part of a larger system, not necessarily the center of all things, beings, and phenomena. So all of us move from infantile narcissism to, for want of a better term, more mature realism. Now, in an adult, we should all be intellectually um, realistic about our place in a family and in society. We're a part of the whole, not the center. But, this is a huge but, this is a big fat but, this is a big fat butt with acne, and nobody wants that. Emotionally, that petulant, mewling, narcissistic infant is alive and well. And one of the great benefits of Buddha's method of meditation is that we can be aware of that irrational, destructive need to be at the center of everything before it affects our, choice, our choices of speech and our choices of behavior. I believe it was um, Carl Gustav Jung who said the way to defeat our shadow self was to be aware of our shadow self. It doesn't make our shadow self go away, but it prevents him from controlling our choices and our words and our behaviors. So that's what I'm here to share with you right now. There's a difference between being childlike and childish. Let's, when we, our childishness rears its head with, with horns. When it rears its head, let's embrace it with, with noticing and relaxing. Maybe for five minutes, maybe for an hour. And let us learn the lessons that we need to learn so we can evolve. So do not, do not continue to make the same old mistakes over and over again. That's right. We get to make new, new mistakes and learn. Because that's, that's where the juiciness of life lives. May you and yours be healthy and happy. All kinds of free stuff in the... Uh, area below the video, just find the button that reads show more. Good day.